Hello everybody. Um, so welcome to Asking Amberlynn Answers. Um, I will be answering the questions that you guys have asked me on my other um, video when I was asking you guys to ask me questions. So here we go. And I just want to say if I take too long, I'm so sorry. I tend to ramble. I don't know if you guys have noticed. So here we go. The first question is from Xgara X asking Mario Party 8 or 9? Um, so I've been playing a lot of Mario Party 8. Me and my girlfriend just recently got Mario Party 9, which is very different. Um, but I'm just gonna go with Mario. Pa I want to say Mario Party 8 still because. Um, the difference between the two is actually quite drastic. Mario Party 9 is really fun, but I like how Mario Party 8 were like individual because in Mario Party 9 we're like all in a car together. I'm sure none of you even understand that if you don't play Mario Party, so I'm sorry. Um, Xgara X asked top three favorite characters from Desperate Housewives. That's hard. I want to say Lynette. I feel like she's underrated because she really truly is a great character. I love how her character is even though sometimes she can annoy me. <laughs> um, I also want to say Susan because she's like the ditzy clumsy one but I really do like her. She, Her character is like perfect. Um, and then I want to say Carlos, which is actually quite shocking because I was thinking I was going to say Brie, but Brie was my favorite, but not anymore. So I'm going to say Carlos. Um, I don't know. Something about his character is really intriguing with me and I just enjoy watching him. If you guys have never seen Desperate Housewives, watch Desperate Housewives because uh, it is definitely one of my favorite shows by far. Um, J. Chantel, I'm so sorry if I pronounce things wrong, um, asks, what made you want snake bites? Um, when I was in high school, I think grade 12, I actually wanted just one piercing. So, I was in a foster home at the time. I was 17 years old, and I asked for one lip piercing for my 18th birthday. Um, they approved, I got it, and I was happy with it. I think when I was 20... I want to say 20. I really liked snake bites. I wanted a snake bite really, really bad. So, um, I ended up getting one. Thank you to Crystal. It was her gift to me for my birthday. And, um, I really like them. I think they're very cute. Not a lot of people like them, but I mean, just do what makes you happy. That's what life is about. It's not about pleasing anybody else or you know, things like that. It's just do what makes you happy and not other people. Because if you follow the footsteps of other people, you you are going to be happy internally. And um, being happy internally is what really matters and what makes your life great. Um, Miss Georgia asks, what's your goal weight? <clears throat> I changed my goal weight so much because I'm such a heavy weight that I have so many options. Um... I feel like being in the hundreds is unrealistic in a way because I feel like that'll be a lot of extra skin. Um, if you hear that snoring, that's my dog. I'm so sorry. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. Okay, but anyways, um, I feel like if I'm in the hundreds, I'll have a lot of extra skin. I feel like no matter what, I'm going to have a lot of extra skin. And I do not have the money. I do not have the insurance for extra skin. A lot of people will tell me, wouldn't you rather be healthy by being in the hundreds? I don't think what people understand is that having so much extra skin is also unhealthy. You can get infections. You can get, you know, certain things like that. So you have to look at it this that way, you know. So, currently though, I think if I ever made it to 230 pounds, I'd feel like I was dreaming. So that is my current goal weight, 230 pounds. That is like my overall, like if I ever got there, I'd be like so happy. But if I ever got lower, of course, I'd be happy too. And I hope that one day 
um, I can get a good insurance to maybe extra skin wouldn't, you know, be such a fear for me because then I'd be able to get it removed. But um, extra skin, that's a fear that I deal with every single day and it's, you know, it's my fault. I got myself like this and, you know, that's just something I'm going to have to deal with for a very long time. Um, Xgar X asked, would you ever make a video showing all of your purses? Um, if you guys request any type of video, I will definitely film it unless it's something that's like totally out there, then obviously I wouldn't. <laughs> but I mean, if someone wants me to film all my purses, I will. I'll show you guys. If someone, I already have, um, a few requests from people that I will be doing. Um, and I just want to say... This channel isn't about me, like, being like, oh, this is my fashion, oh, this is what I do. It's not about that. This channel is purely just me and everything about me, everything that I love, everything that I fear, everything that I hate, and everything that I want to share. My story is for you guys to watch if you want to see it. That's what this channel is about. But, um, I don't want anyone to think I'm ever bragging or anything like that because it's not like that. I'm not that type of person. So I just wanted to kind of make that clear because when I made, like, my cell phone case, uh, collection, I was a little nervous about that because I do have a lot and I don't want people thinking I'm, like, some bragger or something because it's not about that at all. So I just kind of wanted to make that clear. Um, this question is from Daniel Stevens. When did you know you were gay? Um, my whole life, even at the age of, like, seven, I never really saw the difference in, like, a crush between male and female. Um, if I had a crush, if they were a male, okay. If they were a female, okay. I know seven is so young, but, I mean, everyone had their little, you know, mini crushes. I still remember my first crush was... Um, a guy named Michael in kindergarten. I mean, some people don't remember those days, but I sure do. Um, and as I grew older, like in my 13 stage and stuff like that, that's when I more accepted the fact that I was bisexual. Um, I hid it for a very long time. I'm not going to get too much into detail because I'm actually going to make a um, video about my coming out story because... I feel like that's important for people to watch whoever is, you know, struggling with who they are and not sure how to come out of the closet because sometimes coming out of the closet isn't just about your sexuality. It could be about anything, you know, just something that you're hiding that you want other people to know, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. But, um, and then as I even got older, like 16, I, I noticed, yes, I still liked guys but I kind of feel like I was just wanting that attention that love um I've had boyfriends I've had girlfriends but when I became an adult 18 an adult um things just kind of started to change for me and I kind of realized um I don't know if this is TMI but um sexually guys no it just wasn't I just I wasn't it's just, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. And, um, so at the age of 18, I finally came out as a lesbian. And I, I'm happy I did this. Um, I can't choose who I love. I can't choose what I'm attracted to. And I'm so happy now. I'm so proud of who I am because I have found someone I love so much. And I'm just... I'm grateful for that. I really am. And there is no way that this kind of love is a sin or wrong in any way. I'm just really happy. <laughs> um, my next question is from Jay Chantel. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? I'm going to say Japan. Tokyo, Japan. Because that is my girlfriend's dream. She talks about it all the time. That is something that she will she will always want to do and I would love more than anything to go with her. This question is from Miss Georgia 7. Do you have Instagram? If not, you should get it. I do have an Instagram. Um, 
I think my username on there is must be pearls, M-U-S-T-B-E-P-E-A-R-L-S. -E -E so if you guys want to follow me, go for it. I don't post as many pictures as I used to. I used to post so many pictures, like 30 a day. But I recently stopped doing that. I'm not sure why. I should probably get back into it. This question's from Exagara X. What's the last thing you ate? How was it? I had potatoes with pesto, cheese, and bacon bits, and green beans, and it was delicious. <laughs> um, this question is from Susan Mott. What was your most favorite Christmas present you ever got? I want to say my baby brother. Um, I haven't seen him in years and years. If you guys watched my emotional past video, then you know why. But, um... He was actually born on Christmas and I will never forget that day because my mom was actually setting out Santa's gifts. I'm sorry if you're young and you think Santa's real. I probably just ruined your life dream for you. But um, that's how I also realized that Santa was not real because my parents were Santa and Santa was about to have a baby. <laughs> um, Susan Ma also asked your favorite movie. I am so indecisive about favorite movies, it's like insane, but I'm going to say Case 39 just because that movie is so intriguing. I like um, kind of like a horror story, but I also love stories about foster care and stuff like that. If you guys have not seen that movie, watch it. There is the biggest twist you will ever see. I was so shocked. That's probably why I love it so much. I love twists. It was just a great, great movie. This question is from Nick Knack Fitness. What made you start your YouTube channel? I watch YouTube all the time. I love videos. I love, I just love everything about it. And when, before, I mean, for a long time, I've been wanting to do a channel and I wasn't sure what to do it about. I wasn't sure if I should. I know people get so much hate and I mean, I'm the epitome of someone wanting to throw hate because look at me, I'm obese and people love to pick on obese people. So I was nervous, I was scared, and it took me about a year to finally do it, and I decided I don't need just one subject to do my channel on. I can do it about anything, and um, mainly the subject is me and everything about me and stuff like that. But I'm so glad I finally did it because you guys are great supporters, and I love all of you, and I'm thankful for every single one of you and for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. My next question is from Miss Makeup Lover, what are your favorite clothing stores? <sighs> I like Torrid. I like Avenue. Avenue's kind of actually not as much as I used to like it, I have to admit. Um, I like Dress Barn. Um, I like Walmart. I like Target. I mean, I'm not that picky, honestly. I'm not. Um, there's one store in the mall that I love, and I do not remember the name of it, and that's going to annoy me. Oh, darn it. Um, what type of music do you listen to? I listen to everything. If you saw my iTunes, you'd be like, what? I mean, it's from Justin Bieber to Kings of Leon to music you've probably never even heard of. I mean, I listen to everything. The Black Keys, Miley Cyrus. Um, I'm just in love with music and I just am. I My favorite genre, I think, though, is indie, probably. I just love indie music so much. Miss Makeup Lover also asks, what's your favorite food? Salmon. Do you want any children? I used to want children, and um, I think the only reason why I wanted children is because I wanted that unconditional love. I do love kids, but I finally have that unconditional love, and that is from my girlfriend. And I feel like um, I'm just not suited to be a mother. I, I feel like I'd be a great mother, but I just don't think... Um, I just, sorry, I just don't think that would work for me. Um, I just can't imagine. I will have cats and I will have animals though and I cannot wait for that day when I have my own place to have animals and stuff. Last question is from Now You See Me 53. Do you go to school and are you working toward any certain career? I used to be in um, criminal justice but not anymore. I currently do not go to school. I have a lot of student loans, and I don't think I could have any more loans than I do now, so I currently do not go to school. 
Um, I'm sorry for rushing now. It's just I have 15 seconds to say goodbye because I can't upload a video more than 15 minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing another video like this. Like and subscribe. Bye.